Girlfriend expects me to be fine cutting our holiday short next year so she can book another holiday she wants. I have been with my partner for three years and we live in the UK. This summer Nad last summer we had a holiday abroad then a couple of weekends away within the UK throughout the year. Next year we planned to travel to three European cities and had priced things up so we knew what to expect. We were both really looking forward to it but I pointed out to my GF that since this was more expensive than our previous holidays, we would have to do less weekends away and things next year. My GF started looking for a holiday for January and started telling me how much it would be for four nights away. I told her we wouldn't be all but to if we wanted the holiday in the summer. She started saying it loud will be fine and that I should have a look at it. I again said no since it would mean spending a lot more than I want on holidays next year. My GF suggested reducing our summer holiday to only one or two cities but I just said I still don't want OT since it was the summer holiday I'm excited about and I don't want to cut that short for a holiday I don't want. She said I was being unreasonable by refusing to even consider it and that I should be willing to compromise. I told her there shouldn't be a compromise since we have already agreed on the holiday we own it for next year. She just repeated that I am being unfair by refusing to look at it. How would you handle this? TL, DR my GF and I had planned our holiday next year Nad agreed it was the only holiday we could do. My GF then tries talking about having a holiday at the beginning of the year and cutting our other holiday short which I refused. She said I was being unfair by not considering it. How would you handle this? Comment. Do you talk to your girlfriend the way you talk to the people of Reddit? Because you asked a question and with people just sharing their opinions, you just bulldoze away and stand firm in your thoughts. If you can't handle criticism, don't ask for it. It's not unreasonable to cut a holiday short to see if you can do two separate ones instead. It's not unreasonable to look and see if you can change things. Holidays change all the time. I looked at so many airbnbs for my last vacation and ended up going to a completely different state than originally planned. How can you say her thoughts are unreasonable if you haven't even looked? People are allowed to change their minds and if there haven't been any non-refundable payments made, now is a good time to change minds and look into what you both want. Your attitude on life feels sus, you didn't come here looking to see if you were the asshole. You came here to prove you weren't presumably to show your girlfriend that the internet agrees with you and then you're angry that the internet didn't agree with you. You're not tough for not wanting to go on multiple holidays. You're tough for being rude about it. You are being unfair by not even looking at it. If you can't afford her proposal, then you can't afford it. But you don't know if you can afford it or not. You have no idea what it is. Your girlfriend wants to change plans. You don't. Find a compromise. Putting your head in the sand and saying no, we're doing the vacation we already decided on because that's what I want, I don't care that you want to change plans isn't reasonable. The fact that you didn't even look at it is so crazy to me. You don't control everything and without learning to compromise or consider your partner's wants, the future will be bleak. I hope she books it and enjoys herself by herself. Good luck. First of all, I understand the frustration that she wants to change the already agreed to plans that you are looking forward to. This breaks down into three conversations. First conversation. Emotional ramifications of this debate, you find her unreasonable and unfair by trying to change the mutually agreed to plans that you both agreed to. You are hurt that she is discounting your feelings about your planned trip and you want to know why she thinks it is okay to try to change the plans after it was already decided on. Why does she feel the need to look for something different? If she didn't want the planned holiday, why did she agree to it in the first place? You need to talk out both your feelings on this and acknowledge you both have valid feelings. You are equally right to not want to change the plans as she is to want to. Second conversation. What you are doing in 2024. If she hates slash doesn't want to do the planned vacation she needs to tell you that now. There is no point going on any vacation if one of you hates the idea, you in January, her in the summer. 
Is the problem with the January vacation the location? The budget? The required time off? Is her primary desire for the January vacation the location? The time off? Can you do a staycation in January? Vacations should be two yes she's, one no and is the correct answer cancelling all of them and doing separate vacations. If she really wants the summer vacation and the January vacation, you are not willing to give up time on the summer so where is she willing to make budget savings to pay for the January one? Third conversation. Agreeing on a vacation planning protocol. It sounds like you like to have your vacations planned in advance and your GF likes smaller more spontaneous ones. Keeping a budget is excellent. But you both need to agree to the rules, when is the commitment deadline? Are you going with two yeses required or alternating choice makers? Etc. Figure out how you can do this where both of you can live with it, because right now your situation is ripe for both of you feeling ill-used and resentful. Next story 2. How should I respond to my husband's cheating? My husband and I have been married for about three years. I was going through depression which had a lot of side effects including low or non-existent sex drive. We would maybe have sex once a month. I could tell that bothered him and he wanted more but he never pressured me or forced me to do more. When we did have sex it was decent and he always made sure I was satisfied. Well, one day he left his phone in the bathroom and I started going through it and I saw a picture of him in just his boxers. Of course, I was wondering who he was sending this to so I confronted him. He said he had posted it in a reddit group, something about comparing himself to other guys. I didn't really buy that and to be honest, I always kinda suspected that he might be cheating on me. Fast forward two months, I was pressuring him to tell me if he was sleeping around, or someone on the side, or had been to strippers, whatever, just tell me and I'd forgive him but I needed to know. Well the next day he sends me an email saying he hadn't been sleeping around but that one time, supposedly, he had met up with a guy and they had jerked off together. He says there was no physical contact, but who knows. Anyway, this was a bridge too far for me. I said I couldn't trust him anymore told him to move out and now I'm thinking about leaving the area and getting divorced. He says he's sorry he broke my trust, and he wants to reconcile, but I don't think the thinks he actually cheated. I think it's worse than if he had just slept with another woman, and that's why I want to end our relationships. Is there another way I should be looking at this situation? Comment. You sound super toxic. You don't get to say things like just tell me and he'll forgive you then rip it back. It sounds like you've been messing him around for a while telling him he had to leave then come back etc and then you wonder why he fucked up and went outside of the marriage for something. No cheating is never okay but what you're doing isn't okay either and you don't get to blame mental health on that, I had depression and anxiety for about 4 years previously. I didn't treat my partner like shit. Sure you can be suffering and have needs but your husband is a human being. It doesn't sound like he's been treated like one. There are other vows to be considered. So I'd suggest either look at divorce, if nothing else but to spare him more of your toxicity. Or both of you admit you've both got issue. Take responsibility for your part in this and both go to marriage counseling to see if this can be saved. But you don't get to act innocent and pretend he is the only issue. Your behavior is absolutely not okay either. Have a good, long hard look at your actions, what the hell. Anyway people like you rarely take any accountability but I hope you do. This isn't a message of hate, I wish you the best and I strongly hope you realize the error of your ways so you can change, and finally have a hope at a healthy relationship. You wanted him to be sleeping with other women? Instead of just jerking it with another bloke. If my man came to me saying he'd rather jerk off with another guy than actually sleep with other women I'd be pretty okay with that. I have always said, if they have a dick then I don't care and will support you as best I can but if you start messing around with another woman then we are done. I have a bag I can provide it, I don't have a dick so I can't provide it. Please I think it is interesting how most are blaming you and not the cheater, 
no one knows why you asked him to move out for a month, no one knows the behavior he was doing to make you ask, they assume it is you being toxic, I see it the other way, he was being shady and neglectful and wouldn't answer questions. You got fed up asked for a time put not a breakup. She took that time to cheat, then started soliciting men. You are right to call this off. You have nothing to work with and don't let these commentators make you feel bad by twisting words. You so was dishonest and cheating. Why stay in s relationship when you have to police your partner? Just leave.